This guy makes $10 million a year selling cardboard. I bet you use his invention every day. First, let's go back to the early 1900s. After the Civil War, there's this thing called the temperance movement. Activists put water fountains around cities, rounded up a wagon of drunks, and drove around making them drink water out of a shared bucket. But they're also learning about the germ theory of disease, and a shared slop bucket wasn't sanitary. So in 1907, this Boston lawyer Lawrence Lulin invents the first disposable cup. It was called the health cup, but people weren't sold on it. Until 1918, when the Spanish flu killed one in 20 people on Earth, disposable cups were here to stay. But things really heat up in the 60s when 7-Eleven is the first chain to offer fresh coffee in to-go cups. Then Starbucks pops up and does the same. But now there's a problem. These paper cups are bad for the environment. So laws are passed to reduce waste and make paper cups thinner. But coffee's hot and thinner cups burns people's hands, including Jay Sorensen, who burned himself. He invents the Java Jacket, a cardboard insulator used on every cup of coffee today. 